and students about to be graduates, hats off to Dr. Scully. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> Terrific. When I was eight years old, which is shortly after the discovery of fire, <laughs> I wrote a composition for the good nuns that I wanted to be a sports announcer. This was shocking. The girls wanted to be nurses and ballet dancers, and the boys wanted to be policemen and firemen. But that's what I wanted. I was in high school, and I was sitting in the back row of the auditorium with the best athlete on campus. His name was Larry Miggins, and we were talking about what we hoped to do with our lives. And I said to Larry, gosh, I would love to be a sports announcer and maybe do Major League Baseball. And Larry said, I would love to be a Major League player. In 1952, a few years later, I was broadcasting for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They were playing in Ebbets Field against the St. Louis Cardinals, and Larry Miggins was in the starting lineup for St. Louis. Now, I only worked two innings in those years, the third and the seventh. And in the third inning, Larry Miggins came up while I was on the air and hit a home run against a pitcher named Preacher Rowe. It was the most emotional moment outside of the birth of my children, I think, in my entire life. Can you imagine such a far-fetched dream coming to reality? So I get back again to those four words, very difficult, but possible. Hold on to that. We can't tell you to survive the storms of life. We can tell you to why so very hard to learn to dance in the rain. And you can do it. You really can do it. Very difficult, but possible. your Marvel podcast, hit that like button, swing at the subscribe button, and hit a home run on that notification bell. Have a probably awesome rest of your day.